Hello, and welcome to FBLA PBL's webinar designed to help you navigate through the newly revised Business Achievement Awards. My name is Marisa Price, and I am the Communications and Publications Manager. I will serve as today's moderator and will be speaking throughout this session with Lisa Smothers, our Membership Director, and McKenna Murray, our FBLA National Secretary. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We will go over questions at the end of this presentation. Just as a reminder, we are recording today's webinar and it will be uploaded to our YouTube channel tomorrow. Okay, I will now turn it over to Lisa Smothers. Thank you, Marisa. The Business Achievement Awards is an aggressive results-based program designed to complement academics while accelerating students' leadership skills. The awards focus on the words surrounding our FBLA crest, service, education, and progress. There is a heavy emphasis on education with integrated classroom projects ranging from the areas of accounting, entrepreneurship, international business, technology, communications, and marketing. I am pleased to introduce our next speaker. Please welcome McKenna Murray, FBLA's National Secretary from the State of Nevada. Thank you, Ms. Smothers. The Business Achievement Awards is an individual membership recognition program that has four different tiers. Each level builds on the other. Future, Business, Leader, and America. Students earn a different pin for each level. The pin's design is exclusive to the BAA program. The BAA is aligned with the nine FBLA, FBLA PBL goals, the NBEA standards, and the career clusters. These education categories clusters and standards are detailed both in the online program and in the chapter man management handbook under the recognition tab. There is no paperwork. Everything is completed online through interactive forms. Things to note. Students may complete as many levels as they wish upon advisor approval in a one-year time period. Activities not completed in one year may be carried over to the next year. The revised program has been designed with a fresh new look. One of the new enhancements is a checkoff list. Every time a student completes an activity, a green check mark shows up next to the activity along with the word complete. Both students and advisors see these check marks when opening up the application for review at any level. Many states ask for verification of student entries in order to qualify for chapter awards at the state leadership conference. So in this new version, advisors can see a listing or review and print off student names with documentation of completed entries by each level. Finally, as completed entries are submitted, advisors have the option of printing a certificate from a pre-made template. Students and advisors now have the ability to put their mouse over any activity and the description will pop up. This eliminates having to click on the activity and wait for it to come up to see the description of the uploaded project or interactive form. To see the complete activity and review the actual student assignment, students or advisors simply click on the activity that they wish to view. Thank you, Lisa. Now we're going to walk through the registration process. We'll just spend a few minutes on this section to familiarize you. Then we'll be going in-depth into the activities for each BAA level. Advisors must register students for the BAA. To do this, they simply go to our website and click on the advisor area from the drop-down menu on the right side of the homepage. Just look for the orange box. Once in this area, they click on FBLA Business Achievement Awards. Oops, you can see that right there in the advisors only area. You will log in using your chapter number and the site password, which is service. Once you've done that, you'll be asked to set your own login and password. Again, this is only if you've never registered as an advisor before. If you ever forget your login or password, don't worry. Just scroll down below the login area and click on the link that says forgot login slash password. The home page of the online version of the BAA lets the advisor manage the awards at the four different levels. Advisors may view active awards or add a new member registration. Additional navigation is also available at both the top and side buttons and provide drop-down menus. Advisors may even choose to do batch registration or register up to 15 members at one time or do a single registration. 
Each level must have a new registration and a new password for each student. Advisors also have the opportunity to create a teacher's account. This account allows the teacher to demonstrate the BAA online program exactly the way a student would see it. An account must be created for each level. Let's take a look at registering a single student for a level from the home page. Once advisors choose the award they wish to register a student for and click on that button, they will see the interactive form. Students may be selected from the drop-down list. All students that are registered as members for the chapter for the past four years will appear unless the advisor chooses to show only this year's students. Please keep in mind that if this option is selected, only paid members will show up. The advisor should select the student that he or she wishes to register and submit the registration. An email containing the student login and password will be sent to the advisor. You can also review active awards at any time by selecting the award level for these awards. The review key is the password if students forget them, as you can see on the screen. Advisors may deactivate awards at any time that a student no longer wishes to work with the BAA program by clicking the Deact link. Now let's take a closer look at the four different levels of the Business Achievement Awards and some of the many activities that students may choose to complete. The Future Award, which is due March 1st, is ideal for a first year or a new FBLA member as it introduces students to the many different activities at the local level and some of the different online national programs that we offer. Ten activities are required from the areas of service, education, and progress, with activities ranging from helping prepare a bulletin board to bringing a friend who is a non-member to a meeting. Upon completion of this level, pins are sent to the local chapter advisor to present to the student at a local meeting or a local award ceremony. At future level, students may fulfill some of the community service projects by offering five hours of service to an education organization like the PTA or becoming a pen pal with a senior citizen or a soldier. Some of the educational activities at this level include completing an interactive FBLA trivia quiz with a score of 92% or better, taking a free brain bench test, preparing a public service announcement about FBLA PBL week, or completing an advertising slogans worksheet. Under the category of progress, students may prepare a recruitment brochure, complete a parliamentary procedures worksheet, or use FBLA's social media tools, Facebook, the FBLA PBL blog, or Twitter. Before students can begin the business level, they must have completed the future award. Once advisors have submitted a student's future award, they may, may register that student for the next level, the business award. Students complete 12 activities from the areas of service, education, and progress. Projects range from making an informational presentation about FPLA to preparing a resume, cover letter, and job application applying for a dream job. Pins are sent to the local chapter advisor for presentation at an award ceremony or a local FPLA event. Many examples of fact sheets, promotional videos, and actual project samples are offered as reference materials for each of the different activities at the business level. Reference materials are also supplied. For example, when students work on the resume activity, they also complete in, in, an interactive resume checklist. Some of the community service activities that students may choose to participate in for the business level include designing a poster encouraging students to join FBLA, researching community service grants, helping to plan and conduct an FBLA ceremony, such as the FBLA emblem ceremony. Some of the educational activities that students may choose include completing an interactive business internet scavenger hunt, successfully completing one grading period for a business course with a B or better, or preparing an agenda for two chapter meetings. For progress, members may plan and present an icebreaker or complete a parliamentary procedures crossword puzzle worksheet for a few of the activity choices. Before beginning the leader level, members must have completed the Future and Business Awards. Students working on the leader award must complete the interactive entry form and 14 activities by March 1st. This award focuses on local, district slash regional, state, and national involvement. 
advanced business skills, and community leadership. The names of qualifying students and PINs are sent to the state advisor to be presented at the state leadership conference. At the leader level, students become much more involved with technology and social media and create more podcasts, movies, and blogs. For service activities, members may either run for a local, state, or national office, serve as a campaign manager for a candidate at any level, or serve in a leadership role. They are also required to participate in one of the national service programs, such as the March of Dimes, ISA, FBLA PBL National Community Service Day during FBLA PBL Week in February. Under education, students build on the resume activity from the business level and use the materials that they have developed for a mock interview. They may also choose from activities ranging from job shadowing to analyzing a chapter financial statement. For progress, they may participate in Membership Madness, write a letter to a government official about the benefits of FBLA, or participate in a task assigned by their local chapter advisor. The America Award focuses on total association leadership, business skills, and involvement in the community. Students must have completed the Future, Business, and Leader Awards before beginning this level, which involves 15 different projects. Please note, this level only has been extended to April 25th. A new marketing plan project has been added to the America Award, which contains a five-minute video podcast of the student member presenting their marketing plan. This project is a general FBLA promotional plan that involves the creation of PSA announcements, the use of social media, postcards, print ads, blogs, and much, much more. The podcast becomes part of the overall electronic scholarship portfolio that students will develop when completing all of the levels of this program. PINs are awarded at the National Leadership Conference. One of the most beneficial and challenging projects that the American level offers is an FBLA International Recruitment Project, which includes the creation of a report and a presentation. Students are to assume they are ambassadors for FBLA and are to use the foreign country they research for the LEADER Award. They are to plan a hypothetical trip and prepare a presentation about FBLA to interested students and teachers. Some of the other activities students may choose while working on the American level include creating an online autobiographical scrapbook, designing a free enterprise board game, following up on leader level activity of the letter to a government representation by arranging a visit, creating a blog, and developing an FBLA game show, an FBLA music video, or a reality show about FBLA. If a student participates in all four levels of the Business Achievement Awards, he or she will walk away with an electronic career portfolio containing samples of activities, awards, and projects suitable for use when either applying for college or for scholarships. The activities that the student will expand upon are expand upon many of the projects that they have worked on during the future, business, leader, and America levels of the program as well as activities and projects that they can complete during the second half of the membership year that will benefit the local chapter, the school, and the community. All projects and activities will be uploaded into the electronic portfolio using a template. The original portfolio before this revision contained a personal profile, a table of contents, resume, goals, awards, and activities. While students are working on this new version, they will see some additional pages. These include community service, FBLA, marketing plan, and projects. Other new activities include members creating a brief movie podcast about themselves and an elevator pitch selling their strengths. Okay, we've come to the end of our webinar. We had a number of questions submitted during the presentation, and we'll start getting to those now. But if we run out of time, we will email you individually to answer any question that we're not able to get to. Again, um, you can submit your question on the uh, GoToWebinar toolbar located on the right side of your screen. Okay, Lisa, it looks like our first question comes from Monica in Florida. Monica wants to know what happens if her student forgets their password. That's a great question, Monica, uh, and that's a question we get a lot. During the VAA program or on the online program, as an educator, you have the opportunity to review your student entries. When you click review the student entries at every 
every level. Um, for example, for the future level, if you look by the student's name under active awards, you'll actually see something called a key. That will be their password and their login. Great. Okay, looks like Kurt from Virginia um, wants to know who reviews the work that's submitted. Again, that's another really great question. And this, this program was really designed um, to get your local chapter advisor involved at, at all levels of it. And basically the way the program works is as the students work through the entries, um, they're automatically the checklist, the system recognizes that. And your advisor won't even see a submit button until all of the activities have been completed. Once they see that submit button, before they do that, they actually review your activities. Click submit, it's sent here, and once it gets to the National Center, an automatic email generates. And somebody here um, also has the opportunity to spot check the application or the entry. Great. OK, looks like um, McKenna, we have a question from, for you from Dina in Wisconsin. Dina is interested in knowing what level of the BAA program you've completed, McKenna. I've completed the Future Award, and I'm currently working on the Business Award. Great. Good for you. Okay, Lisa, uh, Carolyn from New Hampshire um, says that her students completed all of the tasks for the business level. Um, now what does she do? Once your student has completed the task for the business level, whether you have one or whether you have multiple, what you need to do is go in and again click on see the student entries. Um, once you click on that student's entry form, you'll see the submit button. Uh, it's the system again is designed so once the advisor hits the submit, the entry is automatically processed in the system and then we'll turn around and process the pins and send them back to you for the local level because the business awarded, the pin is awarded at the local level. Great. So, um, again, it's really important to hit that submit button or else all their work just is kind of sitting there. We won't review it until the advisor actually submits it. Okay, um, Brian from New York um, wants to know when he can expect to receive uh, their pins in the mail. That's another great question. And the, the beauty of the new revised program is that as soon as the application is submitted for whatever level. The entry comes here. Um, we have somebody here on staff that actually works on sending out the pins along with some of the other duties. So he runs the pins once a week on Fridays, and they're sent out right away to the local advisor. So there's no more waiting in the old days when we used to get the tub loads of the paper application. We used to have to wait till March. Um, now it's gotten to the point that as soon as the entry comes in, within that week it's processed. Great. And then um, do they have to wait until they get the pen to start on the next level? No, and that's an excellent question, Marie. So they don't. As soon as your advisor students submit um, the entry form, have the advisor register you for the next level so you get your password and your login and you start it right away. Good. Okay, it looks like, um, oh, Cody Lee had the same question about how long does it take to get pins. So, um, we run them every Friday, so hopefully within a week you should be receiving them. Um, let's see. Um, Tom wants to know, can you complete all four levels in the same year? That's an excellent question, uh, Tom. And, you know, we have had people do that. And once they start, I, I would recommend if you're wanting to do that, you start now. But I'll always remember we had a student a few years ago that did all of those pins in one year. And he was so proud of those pins that uh, when he went to the national level, he was competing in Future Business Leader. And he wore those pins into his interview. And his advisor was like, oh, boy, those are really flashy pins. I don't know how this is going to go. Um, but the cool thing was is that his interviewer asked him what those pins meant and he explained the Business Achievement Awards program and he was so proud of it and you know he ended up getting first in Future Business Leader that year in the nation so it was great. It was so great that he was so proud of completing the program. So it's been done before it sounds like. Oh yes it has. Good. Okay um, Kelly wants to know what's the typical time frame for a student to complete each level? It depends. The lower levels really are able to be completed right away. For future, again, it's designed for the first year or the new member. So that 
a, a student can complete that probably if you're active in go to meetings I would say in the course of three weeks now the business level that takes about a month the leader level again that's going to take more time because once you get into those upper levels you're doing more intense projects um, you're doing some interviews you're attending conferences you're participating in workshops um, so it's just I would really recommend going in and previewing the activities and taking a look at what it takes and really sit down with the advisor and plan out and map out what you're going to do because it really helps to map out your plan. Right, and just a reminder, Kelly, all of those um, activities, and for everyone listening, the activities that we mentioned, the suggestions, they're all laid out in the Chapter Management Handbook um, under the Recognition tab. And again, they're also online in the uh, Program Overview. Lisa Kelly also had another question. She says her school district does not support social media, so she's um, concerned if her students um, have to participate in the social media activities. That's another really good question, and the way that the program is designed is the social media activities are options they can choose. They're not required activities. So if they run into a problem with the school, they just select another option that doesn't do that. They also have the opportunity, we all know that our students do go home, and they probably do have the Facebook pages, and they have home computers. So, you know, wherever they are, as long as they have the login and the password, they can log in and they can access um, the BAA program. Great. Okay, this next question comes from Bianca. She's a student and she said she's completed the future level um, at the end of last year, but her advisor forgot to certify her. Um, so she's asking if she has to complete the future level again this year. Mm -hmm. Bianca, that's a good question. And um, on those type of situations, I have the opportunity to go on the back end, and I do have the opportunity to review your application. So send me an email at membershipdir at fbla.org with your name and your school, and I'll go ahead and look at that application. And um, if everything is in order, we'll go ahead and code it, and we'll submit it so you don't have to reinvent the wheel and redo things. Great. And again, Bianca, um, Lisa's email address is membershipdir at fbla.org. Okay, Giovanni um, wants to know if there are optional activities as well as required activities. Yes, at every level you have two, one to two, maybe three required activities, but you also have the ability, and, and remember all the levels have the activities under service, education, and progress, to also select two optional activities. Um, so it does give you the choice, and even at some of the levels, it gives your advisor the op opportunity that they can even substitute their own advisor-approved activity. Great. Okay, well, it looks like those are all the questions we have. Um, again, I'd like to thank everyone for being with us today. Uh, please don't miss the next webinar, which is scheduled for December 14th at 7 p.m. this time. We are experimenting with a new time of day. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's called Involving the Pros, and it will feature Brad Howard, who is our Professional Division National President. He will share with you some tips on how to get your chapter more involved with the professional members in your area. And you can register right now for that webinar by visiting our homepage at www.fbla.org. And don't forget, all of our previously recorded webinars are archived on our website in the Advisors area. And a few of them are located on our YouTube channel, including Welcome Back to FBLA PBL, which we recorded um, in September, and Involving Your Elected Officials. Both of those are um, really great webinars, and they offer uh, relevant content. Okay, I'd like to thank you, uh, Lisa and McKenna, for your participation today.